Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. I'm Nos Adorable. I welcome you all back to Living LD with Nos Adorable. I thank you all my subscribers and um, all my viewers for watching my videos, for liking, for sharing. You know, you all are the best. And if you're here to subscribe to my channel, can you do that right now? I will really appreciate that. It's actually, it has actually been a while. I'm sorry for being here for so long. I have been busy and uh, in the midst of my tight schedule, I fell sick, which led to hospitalization. But thank God I am back and I'm heading. Glory be to God. So it's nice having you around again. And today we'll be talking about one important topic. You know, this topic is very important to our general health and we can we cannot do that without it. We cannot do without it in our daily activities as we live. We cannot do without this thing. And it is important for us to know the reason. The reason we have to take it in and just to know the health benefits so that we will be able to, you know, make make it more of like make it one of our the um how am I going to put it now? So as to be able to add more value to it, yes, let's put it that way, add more value to it, and uh, this will really help our general well-being. So today we'll be talking about the health importance of water. We'll be talking about the importance of water to our body, the health, the health benefit of water to us. So, I know we all might be familiar with one or two health importance of water. So this video will just sound like kind of a reminder to us so as to be able to put more effort in our intake of water and uh, <laughs> you know. So, the health imp talking about the importance of water, keeping hydrated is crucial for health and well-being. But many people do not consume enough fluid each day. Do you consume enough fluid each day? If you are not, this video is for you. So, adult women are 60% water, like 60 over 100 water. That's our body. And our blood is about 90% of water. 90% of water. That is what constitutes our blood. So now you can see that water is really important to our general well-being so there is no universally agreed quantity of water that must be consumed daily but water is essential for our kidney and other organs in the body for other bodily function do you do you understand that so when you are dehydrated the skin can become more vulnerable to skin disorders and its wrinkles so it means that water is also essential for our skin. As water is essential for our internal organs function, that is how water is also important for our skin. For our skin and, you know. So, now, drinking water instead of soda can help to reduce weight. It can help in weight reduction. Our function of water in the body now let's move into discussing the function of water in the body it lubricates the it lubricates the joints the cartilage you know there are cartilages found in our joints everywhere you know so um water helps in lubrication of these joints meaning that it prevents friction from occurring at these different joints and uh, it's it uh, prevents pain. You know, when there's friction, there's tendency that we, we're going to experience pain. So when there is enough water in our system, it lubricates, it lubricates these joints and prevents friction. And when, the, when there's prevention of friction, there is prevention of pain. It makes us not to feel pain in our joints. <laughs> Thank you. 
water like um long term dehydration De dehydration means when we are we don't have enough water uh, quantity in our body system so like a, extreme starvation or let's say like even when we are starved of water a starvation of water we don't have enough water in our system so it leads to dehydration so when there is dehydration it can lead to joint pain just like what i have explained earlier so water form saliva and mucus water forms saliva and mucus so we, we can find saliva in our mouth and um, you know the importance of this saliva is that it helps uh digestion it helps digestion of food and it keep her mouth nose eyes moist so is is the intake of water that um helps in production of of saliva and saliva prevents her mouth and every um like digestive tract not to be dry so this prevents friction and damage you know, this is the second time we're talking about friction. We've talked about friction in our joints, that water prevents friction there. And also in our uh, digestive tract, it, it prevents friction and dryness, and it prevents damages. So drinking water also keeps the mouth clean. Consumed um, water instead of sweetened beverages. So instead of you taking sweetened beverages, you do what? Consume water. And it when you consume water it helps to reduce tooth decay that's another benefit of water for our digestive um, system so instead of taking sweetened beverages take water and this will help to prevent tooth decay it delivers oxygen throughout the body you know i, I said it earlier that our blood is made up of like 90 percent of water so and it is our blood that is responsible for the transport of transportation of oxygen throughout our body. So, when we have enough water in our body, you know it will facilitate delivering of oxygen throughout the body. And our our body, yes, just as I've said, our body carries um this oxygen to different parts of our body for uh, for adequate functioning of our body. Then it boosts skin health and beauty. Water be boosts skin health, our skin, our skin and our beauty. Um, when there is dehydration, the skin becomes more vulnerable to skin disorders and premature wrinkling of our skin. So I've made mention of that earlier too. It cushions the brain, spinal cord and other sensitive tissues. The water helps to cushion the brain, the spinal cord. You know how important our brain and our spinal cord are in our body, in the, in the functioning of our body. So that is another function of water. Then, dehydration can affect brain structure and function. It is it, it also involved in the production of hormones and the neurotransmitters. We know the um, benefit of hormones, you know, hormones helps in control most of the activities in our system so also the neurotransmitter talking about the neurons our neurons are our feelings and you know have everything so prolonged digestion can lead to problem with thinking and reasoning you know we use our, our brain in connection with the neurotransmitter everything for our thinking feeling and so and all sorts so um when there's severe prolonged dehydration it can affect our thinking our reasoning and you know so another function of water is that it regulates the body temperature water regulates body temperature so just as i have said that water helps in regulating the body temperature so at the middle layer of our skin water is stored at the middle layer of our skin and what happens with this water stored at the la uh, middle layer of our skin is that when there is heat, this water comes to the surface of our skin as um, as sweat, and this helps to as as this water now evaporates, it helps our body to be cool. So that is another function of water, and that is how it regulates our body temperature. I made a, a video on um, on fever. Like how to help how to help a child or anyone that is running fever. 
how to help such person and how to bring down the fever while you are transporting the person to the hospital like just like a first aid care if you have not seen the video the link of that video is the one popping up here just click on that link and uh, you know that, that that video will really make a lot of sense to you yeah i'm sure i'm bold enough to say that so now another function of water is that the digestive system depends on it the bowel that's our, our stomach needs water to work properly so dehydration can lead to digestive problem dehydration is when there is no enough water in the body so it can lead to digestive problem it can lead to constipation and an overly acidic stomach for 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 people that have uh, ulcer they have peptic ulcer they need to take enough water because just as i've said that when there's dehydration it can lead to overly acidic over it can make the stomach to have too much of acid in the body in in the in the stomach and you know that in us in managing ulcer we try to reduce the acid content in the stomach as possible as we can do you understand so it is important that we increase our fluid intake our water intake and again this it is necessary that we take um, enough water for patient, for people that have peptic ulcer because it may predispose one to having the risk of heart burn. and if you don't take enough water even if you don't have ulcer before it can predispose you also to have ulcer peptic ulcer so it is important so let's add more value to our water intake let's add more value to our water intake another thing water does is that it flushes away the waste products that is not needed in our system it flushes them away just like sweat urine and feces so you know if you if you if you are dehydrated if you don't take enough water you might experience constipation defecation defecating may be may be a bit difficult for you so but when you you take enough water you, know, you just go to toilet easily and uh, you know um another health importance of water is that it helps to maintain blood pressure a lack of water can cause blood to become thicker and which will increase blood pressure you know it's just a simple arithmetic like when you add um or let's say a simple illustration when you add water to something maybe something that has been thick before you now add water to it you make it more loose so now let's assume that thing is supposed to pass through a, a pipe it's supposed to pass through a pipe or a straw you know it's to pass through it more easily now compared to when you did you did not um, put water and it is very thick his ability to pass through that pipe or that straw will be very slow and it will require more pressure so that is why it can lead to increase in blood pressure another way is that our hairway our hairway we can remember that during the when we have the intense outbreak of covid 19 everywhere we were all advised to be taking enough water to be taking in enough water because water air our uh, respiratory system it helps our airway and we know when we are when we are um, dehydrated there's a way we feel one kind of dryness in our throat in our airways like it should look as if the hair that is passing through our nose into our system is very extremely dry it's it, it, like it is not humidified so it is important that we take enough water and this water will help it will help our airway and airways are restricted by the body in an effort to minimize water loss so this can make asthma and allergies worse if you are asthmatic or if you are so, someone that experience allergy so so much water is good for you water will help to prevent this allergy and um it will make you to experience less um asthmatic um, crisis Another thing is that it makes mineral and nutrient accessible. This mineral and nutrients will dissolve 
with dissolving water, which makes it possible for them to reach different parts of our body. You know, from what we eat, like our food, uh, what we ingest, we have some minerals, minerals and nutrients in there. So when we have, we, we take enough water, it helps to dissolve all these minerals and nutrients, and it helps in the transportation of these minerals and nutrients into our parts of our body where they are required. It prevents kidney damage. The kidney re require the kidney regulates fluid in the body. Insufficient water can lead to kidney stone and other kidney problems. Are you getting that? So we cannot do without water. Water is life. Water is very good for us. We have some people that complain that ah they, they don't like taking enough water. You know, you have to beg them before they take water or it takes somewhere in their mouth. You know, it is what you just need for for all the parts of your body to be able to function well. So water is what you just need for almost all your body function needs to be perfect, you know. So you, you cannot do without water. <laughs> and there's nothing you can use to replace water. You can't use um, soft drink, juice, even fruit. Fruits have their own health importance. Vegetables have their own, their own health importance. And water has its own it's important so there's no way you can use maybe okay i i don't like taking water let me use fruits to substitute for the uh, for the health benefit i'm supposed to derive from water you know they are they have their own different functioning and you know it is just okay for us to take enough water just as i'm doing so another health importance of water is that it boosts performance during exercise yes it boosts performance during exercise and it helps in weight loss water may help with weight loss if it is consumed instead of sweetened juice and sodas uh, with water before meals it can help to prevent over eating by creating a sense of fullness like if you are trying to control your weight, take enough water before you eat. Hmm? By the time you eat little quantity quantity of food, you will be full. So especially those that their home uh, weight gain is as a result of eating excessively, what you do is that take water, enough water before you eat your food. By the time you eat little um, like food, you will be full, and by the time you you check it, your weight will be reducing, reducing. Another thing I would like to talk about is when you have warm water on empty stomach in the morning, it helps you, it helps you throughout the day. It helps your digestive system, it helps your stamina, it helps every part of our body, our skin, you know, uh, even our vision, it helps, it helps. So thank you for staying till this time. Thank you for watching this at education. And I believe you've been able to learn one or two things. Or I've been able to remind you one or two things in today's at education. I'll see you in my next video. Live healthy and stay safe. And if you're here to subscribe to my channel, can you do that now? Like this video and send in your comments. You can also make requests on the topics you would like me to discuss on this channel. See you. Bye.